Uh, okay, yeah. You want to look at it real quick, and then I'll show you what I'm just going to talk shit about it. There's your um, chart. Okay, you're a Libra. Your moon is in Leo. This is your mom. This is how she treats your ass. And inside of you, right? Sorry for the indiscreet words. Because I talk like this, like an idiot. But who cares? <laughs> right? Um, okay. Your Capricorn rising, which is you got a beautiful face. Just like this nigga right here, that boy. He's got Capricorn rising. That means you come off as very serious and stuff. And like that's how you react to people like when you acquaint yourself with them. And it's a reputation right in your face. And it's also a restriction because like it's your... Um, it's it's your it's a reputation and it's your uh, career is your tenth house, whether he has it and you do too, boy and girl whatever, it makes you have a beautiful face. I think Capricorn's the most beautifulest looking face, and you're beautiful as a Libra anyways because duh, so you look really more Libra. With the inside, you'll be this Leo person. It turns people like this. I don't know about you, but it's just they're addicted to having fun and not just uh, addicted to friends like a Moon and Aquarius. We have polarity of that, which would be important your signs and the feelings place. <laughs> I guess, but I know a Libra would think I'm a weirdo anyways because I'm a Pisces in the cusp of Aquarius. My philosophy is Aquarius, and they discovered astrology, so we're obsessed with that bullshit, like an idiot, alien, whatever. <laughs> okay, but your philosophy is, um, okay, you, okay, I could say this whole chart, but, okay, the way you talk and speak is third house Pisces, at least you understand the language of heaven and feelings and being super nice and compassionate to other people when you speak. And also your Mercury's in Libra, so you'll have a beautiful voice because... Venus is ruled by Libra, so deal with that. And plus, it's a balanced way you talk, and then you can be a chameleon while you speak or some shit and think or whatever. That's really cool. And that's how you write as a Pisces or something. If you would write a story or something, your decision-making skills would be in your mind as a Pisces because the third house rules Gemini, which is communication and hands. So you'll have Pisces hands, and they rule the feet. Anyways. Uh-huh. Okay, Saturn and Libra. Let's see what houses these things are in. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, your 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 fourth house is in Taurus, so that's where you can be the queen bee and eat and have food and comfort and put all your relationships at home with your some bullshit, and you would have a beautiful home, a stable home, a stable place to go, relaxing. But in the atmosphere on the 10th house, which is actually the career that you have, you are a scorpion. And uh, that would be the very, very desirable. And people would think that you're all kinds of a different attractive, which is inappropriate, especially for scorpions, because they believe in dignity and not being... Because Scorp Scorpio world sex, death, the church, formation, whatever. Your Mars is in Leo, which means... Wow, your Venus is in Sagittarius, which means you marry a foreigner. This means you'd be like stupid as Ariel and want to learn things from somebody and then like ditch them and have backups because you want to keep things moving. You don't like to be, have stagnant in a relationship. That's a relationship with other people. Could be, and you'd be lucky with the relationships anyways because it's in Sagittarius. I'm ridiculous, but you are. Uh, and it's in. It's in the ninth house of philosophy. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Which is Virgo, which is day to day routine. So you want to be with somebody that you can be with every day. And. and and um, kind of critical in relationships still because it's being Virgo. Virgo's the most critical sign ever and just skeptical sign. And it's like, that's how your philosophy would be. Analytical and stuff. The view of God, perfectionist, perfect. An angel, a servant of others and contradicting. Your eighth house is a Leo, which means you might have a, you might die. You might die of a heart attack because, or you're, you might have a heart problem. Your Mars is there too. So you might have a head on collision if you drive and it's in Leo. But your Saturn's in Libra, which means you have a crumbled ego by your father. And your father was fake and treated you just like, like a beautiful ornament. And he didn't have time for you. He was just like, did you do your homework? Did you just, and then bonded with you? And you're a beautiful, inevitable object. But, because it's in Libra. So it, it's in Libra, it's in your ego. So you would have a crumbled ego because your sun sign's in Libra already. That would crumble the ego because the sun is the ego and Saturn's there, which restrictions on it. It's teaching you how to let go of your ego, which doesn't matter. We can have fun ego placements, but yours would be, Crumble because of Saturn and, and Libra. In relationships, it means you can you can be given a marriage and it can be taken away from you. It'd be lucky with this opportunity to make this marriage perfect or some bullshit. <laughs> with relationships as your as your lessons, even with other people, but it, marriage is the main thing because that, that rules your own. Does that make sense to you? Do you think that you relate to this bullshit? Mm -hmm. Venus. Hey. Was your okay? Your Venus is in the eleventh house of friendship. No, yeah, and social media, but it's 
in the eleventh house is Scorpio, how you are with other people. <laughs> Your fifth house is in Taurus. You see, so you have a beautiful heart, and you also have a beautiful home. And you have, the, these are your beauty places, because Libra lures relations of beauty, and your sun is in beautiful Libra. This can make you beautiful and take it away from you, too, because it's in Saturn and Libra. I have no clue. You have Jupiter and Libra, too, which means you can point at anybody, like, you want to marry me? Let's go. Because this is luck. You have luck and restrictions there. So you'd be lucky with your fucking challenges and your karma with relationships or something. So it's, like, restrictive in that. So my... Fuck you, got that, but... <laughs> But in the 10th house, like, career, it's more chaotic for you, I guess. You're a more chaotic person. You would be too impatient to be directed, but, like, like, I, I deal with that, too. He's this 10th house scorpion. So, imagine that. What you're remembered for. How you're, you know, your reputation. And that's in your face, so that Saturn has restrictions in your face, stress in your face, or something, or whatever. But we all get that. I have that. I have cryon in the 12th house of dysmorphia. And, well, truth, a bad, whatever I think of critical because I'm fourth house Virgo. Your Mars is in Leo. Sexual expression and what you do when you get mad at people, you get petty things. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't, I don't, your little and Sagittarius, we don't want to see you be Sagittarius, but you do it anyways and you become proud of it, whatever that means in the 11th house of friendships. And people don't want to see you Oh, and that also makes you have multiple orgasms because Lilith is in the 11th house. 11th house is ruled by Aquarius. It goes outside the coloring box. And most people who have Lilith in Aquarius, but you have Lilith in Sagittarius in the 11th house. Scorpio. Mm, it's really funny. So I don't know what to explain with that, but that's what that is. <laughs> that's what I say about that because Lilith is your stupid ass arrogance of your sexual bullshit. And it's something that you rebel against that people don't want to see. Like, especially in Sagittarius, they'd be like, oh my God, don't fucking do that. Like, it could be in any sign and people don't want to see that. But. You do it anyways, and you impress yourself, and you become arrogant about it. Because it's something that you have to do. No one's going to make you do it. They're trying to make you not do it. They don't want to see you do it. But you can do it, and it's fine. <laughs> because Lilith is the part of us now. <laughs> that demon bitch. <laughs> In the sky. In the sky, where Uranus rules the sky. Which is weird, because it rules just a planet, but it still rules the sky. And yours is in the 11th house, too, so it's unusual. You'll have unusual relationships, and you'll have... Duh, who isn't having a little relationship with everyone? It's unusual to even be on this planet with all these dumb earthlings. Your life purpose is cancer is to be a mother and nourishing person and have a home and a family. And... Because it's in cancer. You're, you already learned how to be disciplined and work hard and do your career and all that money bullshit. But now it's some let go and become intimate and this ridiculous a cancer person who's a can the mother and a, just the purpose every day you challenge with sweetness every day of the emotions emotional manipulation with everybody I guess and the fucking seventh house of relationships you're meant to be married you're meant to be around these other people that you just see completely different of you the people you think you see different of you is actually um cancer because it's a player to how you acquaint people you're just like you're so different from me oh not only from your past that you bring here to teach your capricorn and also your persona is as for for something that you're already used to doing like you know and um and being your own dad or some shit now it's time to be the mother the mom that's your purpose and learn from other cancer some people like you'll see different and then you're like i keep on attracting these slow emotional mothering idiots who knows what you really did <laughs> collect but that's in um your life purpose and then in the house of something the v11 the seventh house of balance you the kidneys and all this bullshit but your eighth house is in leo do you have any heart problems in your like family because it says that's the thing that's gonna kill the fuck really that's awful she had a heart attack the eighth house is a Leo, you might have inherited that bullshit. Please let's help your heart. You might have a heart, mama sister, but you will be famous when you're one and when you die, people will know you afterwards. You'll be famous for whatever you did, but after you die, you can't enjoy it. <laughs> but it will still be like that, like at the funeral. You'll be you'll have all this just like your mother, like the attention of your mother. But whatever. And you'll be threatening and lion like or something. Leo shit. And expressive and creative and Death. <laughs> Weird. Mm -hmm. And the eighth house is Leo. Other people have other things. He doesn't have that. You'll have different deaths. 
even if you have Capricorn rising and 10th house scorpion. But you have 11th house scorpion, all of this different stuff. Mm. Isn't that weird? It works for me, I guess. <laughs> Your Pluto's in Libra, you isolate yourself around others, with others, and never alone. Like, when you think you're isolated, you're just picking up somebody else, like, I'm alone, I'm gonna be alone with you, because you wanna be around somebody else. And, um, secrets are, uh, created that way, too, especially beautiful bonding and stuff, and with other people. Because it's in Libra, you're used to all that, too. I'm trying to find what else is in your death house, which is Mars. You could have a head-on collision, spending way too much money than you fucking earned or something like that. Like, it's it, like a mindless freak. Because, yeah, I guess you don't have any... It makes you feel like you don't have any time. Like, whatever. It's because... Because Mars is in the eighth house of chaos. So you're like, I'm spending money really quick because I'm, like, in this darkness and despair right now or some bullshit. And it's other people's money, too, that you're getting from other people. So you have willpower. You have to go through that. Because Mars is action. You're placements like this so this is what i would say about everyone's luggage no matter if it relates in front of my eye or not <laughs> and then i'll just learn whatever else i can pick up from when you talk or psychically is different because astrology is not anything psychic it's just a social opportunity it's the bullshit that you observe anyways and it's just talking story at time shit but it's i don't know people are dead told me their astrology signs well who the fuck am i to neglect my responsibilities of fucking following astrology's nonsense and figure out who where the fuck I'm at in front of somebody especially when I'm doing psychic readings that's retarded psychic readings is completely the bomb it's impressive as fuck and I don't care if I'm a loser and you don't want to hear it from me because I can be all that stupid shit because I guess I am but don't judge a book like it's dumb cover and plus patience is a virtue and psh, I can get around my head somewhere see stuff like whatever if you got kids teaching I win because lottery is there that's where spirit is showing me your light of bullshit life just came from you so how could I like not see that somehow if I'm searching with my focus on my eye somewhere if I can right or if it wants to do it itself because I don't have the free will to do it I have the free will to observe it because that's all it is a fucking mind chore it's not like given or spoon fed to anybody because I can just sit her like a dumb robot <laughs> But does that make any sense? I'm sure you had children, so ha ha ha. And that's it, guys, boys. I don't fucking know. I don't really know. You don't even have a daughter, do you? You have too many kids. I have boys, you have a daughter too, but I've never seen it. I've ever heard about it. I think you have two boys and a daughter for right now, and I don't know. Am I lying? I'm guessing, gang. Can you guess on me? All kinds of bullshit. Where's the trauma? Hmm. Three boys and two girls. I wasn't counting good enough. I wasn't getting there. So that came out of your body, your little universe that you have at home. Oh, you just adopted some babies. I inherited them. Let me see. Other people's babies. I wonder what that means right here for astrology. Groovy. And their moon sign is how what kind of mother you are to every one of them. But your whole purpose is to be this part of Lee, this mother, too. Just to express this person, I guess, that you supposed to be picking up on that you lack, but you do, and you will have, and done. Guess? That's God's will, I guess. Part of you. You don't have to be a cancer. Who the fuck wants to be that? But having those ability things is good, yeah. So just look to them and be like, you're so different from me. I don't even like you, but I, I need to be like you to fulfill my own self. <laughs> Somehow. Or whatever. If you like cancers, I mean, you can diss or like whatever, but I know for a fact I like Tauruses the most, and that's my purpose. <laughs> Y'all suck. <laughs> Your purpose sucks. I've already learned Scorpion, and it's evil. I'm not evil, but it is. <laughs> has its perks of e The craziness. Like, your 10th house is the Scorpion. That other nurse's date over there was Scorpion. And, like, um, that's a people memory. I don't know. It's cool. I talk too much. Where did he go?